August 22nd, 2017. It's Tuesday. It's Cinema Psycho morning and it's Deceived. Laser Disc. Uh, Goldie Hawn. I've never seen this, so I have no idea what to expect. Most likely a thriller, though. Not comedic, as she usually does. Um, little note, this is a fancy laser disc, by the way. This is, they usually don't come this way. Uh, this actually is a gatefold laser disc, which has a disc goes in here and got this here. Usually they're just like record albums, but that's a fancier one for some reason. Don't know why. Goldie Hawn, Deceived. Uh, credits are rolling on Deceived. This is going to get four out of five stars. This is actually an extremely good movie. Uh, I'm slightly biased because the soundtrack is by Thomas Newman, who I consider probably one of the best uh, composers in film today, uh, following off from Jerry Goldsmith and James Horner. Uh, <clears throat> you know, originally I saw this and I thought, okay, this can be kind of hard to take maybe because it's Goldie Hawn and it's not in a in a, in in a comedic kind of slapstickish role like she's used to doing. But she's actually very good in this. Uh, she's actually very, uh, very convincing. Uh, Storyline, you won't figure out until like the last 20 minutes. Uh, a lot of suspense, uh, and a lot of that is added to by uh, the soundtrack. I, I, de I get the distinct impression that the soundtrack was done very soon or similar to uh, Road to Perdition, which is a soundtrack that uh, James Horner, uh, not James Horner, uh, Thomas Newman did for uh, Steven Spielberg's movie. There's kind of similarity there. It's very suspense, very, uh, very suspenseful. Uh, but uh, yeah, overall, a very good film. I mean, you're watching it, trying to figure out what's going on, and you're not really sure. Anyway, reading the credits here, some interesting names in this. <laughs> but yeah, a very good film. Uh, definitely a little diamond in the rough. One of those things that I'm glad I do Cinema Cycle for, because otherwise I'd never see this.